Hi Guillaume! In a previous episode, Mete showed us Pick a Daily, the cool picture sharing application that you guys built together. Hi Martin! Oh yeah, that was a lot of fun to build it using all those Google Cloud Service technologies. Yeah, and Meta told me that you rebuilt the application recently? Well, yes, the application used the choreography pattern with loosely coupled microservices communicating with the events, but we felt it needed a bit of a refresh. We decided to convert it to the orchestration pattern. Orchestration pattern? Uh, what do you mean? The idea is to have somehow a central brain, the orchestrator, that orchestrates and calls all the services directly. One pain point with the choreography of event-driven apps is that it's sometimes a bit complicated to figure out what's going on. An orchestrator gives a high-level view of your business processes to track their execution. In the loosely coupled scenario, when something fails, you usually have to hunt down through helps of uncorrelated logs and errors to see which particular service failed and why. But with an orchestrator, you can see the execution of your workflow in the Cloud Console and see the results of all the service calls at a glance. Oh, uh, so what did you change to help with that? Uh, and tell me more about orchestration. Google Cloud recently released a new product called Workflows. It's an orchestrator. It allows developers to create workflows. With a series of steps, you can create business processes that orchestrate calls to several services. And the workflow calls those services as simple web APIs. So we gave workflows a try to get a clearer vision and understanding of the underlying business processes of our app. Ah, that sounds exciting. Uh, can you tell us more about this new architecture and how workflows fit in the big picture? Our app business logic isn't very complicated, but it can be drawn as a simple flowchart, basically. OK, uh, looks like the Google Cloud Console here. Uh, the Workflows UI shows both a YAML definition file as well as the flowchart diagram of that workflow. Yep, exactly. You write the YAML definition on the left, but you can immediately see the equivalent diagram on the right. Cool. Uh, could you describe this particular workflow a little bit? Sure. When a new picture is uploaded in cloud storage or an existing one is deleted, an event is fired, one for file creation, one for file deletion. Those events trigger two functions for those two situations, but both start our workflow execution. OK, that's how it starts. Uh, what happens next? If the file event isn't recognized, we go straight to the end of the workflow. If the file event is a deletion, we remove the thumbnail pictures from cloud storage, as well as the picture metadata in Firestore. If it's a file creation event, we analyze the picture with machine learning from the Vision API and extract information about the labels, the color, whether it's safe or not to show the picture. If it's a picture safe to show publicly, we store the metadata in Firestore. We create the thumbnail and the collage. Ah, I see. So you're saying that the, it's the workflow that calls those APIs? Yes, calling an API is really just a call declaration in the YAML definition. Notice, for example, at the bottom, how we select the features of the Vision API that we want to use. Let me also mention a new connectors feature in public preview for now, which further simplifies calling some GCP APIs with the dedicated call syntax. Nice, very declarative indeed. Uh, but there's still a bit of code, right? Of course. For example, our initial cloud function was calling APIs programmatically, but there was a bit of logic and data transformation code in the middle. So this logic part stayed, but the rest is all declarative now. Whoa, that's less code to worry about, uh, and also less event handling, maybe? True, less even handling. Uh, before, with a choreography approach, we had three different ways to handle events. Direct events from Cloud Functions, pops of wrapped GCS event from Cloud Run, and also Cloud Events payloads with event arc to Cloud Run. Now it's raised API calls. That sounds awesome. Uh, so what did you learn from this experience? It was super refreshing to call the microservices via REST instead of different event handling approaches. Also, did you see the Workflows console? 
Yeah, that was the one with the flowchart and the YAML definition side by side, right? That seems super handy for understanding the process visually. You get a bird's eye view of what's going on, and you can gain confidence in making changes in your workflow without the fear of breaking a large distributed system. And here on this screen, seeing all the workflow execution is nice too. You know at a glance for each execution if it succeeded or failed. I guess it's much easier to debug when things go wrong. Also, we were able to cut down some code, uh, even remove some services completely as they could be called declaratively from the workflow. Same thing for error handling that can be done from the workflow. OK. Uh, was it easier to set up and configure? Yes, that was another benefit. No need to configure PubSub, Scheduler, even Arc. We only needed to make a REST API call to our microservices. OK. Uh, any drawbacks you noticed? Mm, yes, yeah, since it's a different approach, you get to learn it, right? <laughs> yeah. Also, you're actually transforming some code into YAML configuration. Uh, does that make it harder to test and debug? Well, to some extent, yes. But on the other hand, it's really just declarative API calls. OK. And in terms of architecture of the system, any other impacts? We lost some parallelism along the way in favor of a more sequential and predictable chain of calls. We may have lost a bit of flexibility as well. Mm, right. I guess with event-driven systems, it's easy to extend the system. You just fire up some new type of event, right? Yeah, true. Or, or plug into existing event streams to add new services. Ah, right. Uh, but overall, it was a good experience? Definitely. If you can draw your business processes in a flowchart, be sure to give Workflows a try. Cool. And how can we learn more about Workflows and, and get our hands on it? Mete and I have been running a serverless workshop, including both event-driven and orchestrated approaches. You can freely follow the collabs at your own pace. And the code of our PicoDaily app is all open source on GitHub. And you can also read our article with all the details. Awesome. It's time to read about it and get our hands on the code. Thank you, Guillaume. Thank you, Martin.